Uh, hello, everyone. I went with Clarence Bowes. No intro music. I can't be asked. Uh, that was a hard watch, wasn't it? It really was. Um, yeah. So a match reaction. West Ham went away to Leverkusen. A uh, huge, huge game. We had to listen to David Moyes beating his chest in the press conference before the game, saying, me, 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 me. You know, it's only 11 men versus 11 men. Yeah, that's why you fucking built a defensive wall and did fuck all. The square root of fuck all for 90 minutes. I understand trying to keep the tie alive for the home leg, but what? I mean, how much fucking faith did, did he show in his team there? Nothing. We had one shot, one attempt. It was on target. That was when Antonio broke in the first half, created something on his own, squared it to Caduce, and maybe Caduce should have done better. One fucking chance. That is all we had. It was honestly, it was disgusting. It, it, it really was. It was filthy fucking tactics. I don't, you know, I, I think my, own, my only hope, my only hope from that game um, going into it was that if there is one man that is capable of destroying a game of football and scraping something, it's David Moyes. That was it. That was my hope. That was what I was hanging on to. Never had any hope or any thought in my mind that we would do anything, you know, do anything constructive in the game. No, I fucking didn't Yeah, at all. I just thought David Moyes possibly could kill the game. Just kill it because that's what he's good at. He is a fucking murderer of football. He tried to do that. It didn't work. They're too good. They're too good. Look, that is what a team that is coached looks like. It is. You know? And what, what about two of those players? Two of those players that was on there. Jonathan Tarr. Did he look any good, did he? Could have got him for fucking 15 million. He was offered to David Moyes in two consecutive windows. What about the other one, Tap Sober? We could have had him in this last window. David Moyes didn't want him. This is fucking... Not, not that these players would be the same for us as they are for Leverkusen, because it's completely different. Completely different. You're looking at a coached outfit that play. They play training ground football. They're knocking the ball about. There's there's passages of play. It's magic to watch. It weren't boring either. Do you know like when you watch Man City and you you, you think they're a little bit boring with their possession football? No, not with this lot. It's close, tight, little intricate passing and moving. And it must have been so fucking difficult for them because we just sat two rows of fucking five there. That's all we done. But they kept on going and going and going. And if not for an absolutely fantastic fucking performance from uh, Fabianski, if it's not Ariola digging us out of shit, it's Fabianski, that would have been four or five. Easily. Absolutely easily. It was gutless. You know, uh, the, the minute the minute I saw the I saw Sufel back in there, even though Sufel, Sufel didn't have a bad game, but the minute I saw him in there, you've got Zuma, you've got you got you had Cresswell in there. In the back line, you got fucking Jedward in midfield. I'm just, I'm just sitting there thinking we're gonna do fuck all, and these players are gonna knock the ball about for fun. We packed it out with bodies. They was calling it a defensive masterclass. That isn't a defensive masterclass. Building a wall and packing a fucking your penalty area with as many people as possible is not great defending. It ain't even great defensive coaching. All this, all this happened there is each player had their zone. Defensive zonal blocks. Really tight, really compact. Everyone knew when they had to fucking stand. That's all that was. Yes, there was some heroic blocks from a couple of players. You know, they should have had three. That one where Suchek done the double, uh, the double block as well. But, I mean, come off it. That tie is dead. And even if that had been nil-nil, you telling me that David Moyes would have, would, have, would have gone at this team at our place? No, he fucking wouldn't. He wouldn't at all. He'd have done exactly the same thing and tried to get us through the penalties because he's too scared. Now we ain't got Paquetta in the second leg because he was getting frustrated. He was getting fucked off, throwing his arms about, jumping into tackles because it's annoying for these players to be playing in a team where it's by design. You're not on the fucking ball. That was embarrassing. The vast majority of those players in that in, in that Leverkusen team, right? The vast majority of them, you plonk any of them in our team, they'd look half the fucking player. Half the player. That is not a team full of superstars. That is a team managed by a fucking superstar and coached by a superstar. That's what that is. We've got a team of superstars coached by a fucking dickhead who don't know what he's doing. 
I, I, I am sorry. I think it was disgusting. That is tie over. You might go, well, remember Seville, remember Leon. This ain't Seville or fucking Leon. Seville was on their way out when we beat them. You know, they, they, they literally, the next two seasons after that, they fucking crashed and burned. Leon were, were, were eight for have been shit ever since. They've just taken Ben Rama off of us. This is Leverkusen. They're 16 points clear of the Bundesliga. You've got to go out. Look at what Atalanta have done to Liverpool. Skamaka. Oh, fuck. Two goals. Two fucking goals he scored against, against Liverpool. You're telling me they've done that doing fuck all? No, they ain't. They've gone out and they've had a go at Liverpool. At Anfield. At Atalanta. Oh, <coughs> Gary's here anyway. Um, oh, hello, Gary. You're all right. Hello, I'm just responding to someone um, who sent me a nasty message, a nasty uh, uh, DM. Um, really? Yeah, basically said, uh, this is brilliant, right? He says, um, really, really let down by your channel. Such a shame. It's really enjoyed seeing tweets. Really hope you decide to actually support West Ham instead of running the manager down every five minutes. Well, he is a bit of a wanker, if you're watching. Who is Any, it? Who's, uh, who's, who's, I'm not going to give a name out. I'm not going <laughs> to give a name out. But anyway, look. Uh, um, well, that fuck was, off, you cunt. Anyway, to be quite honest. Listen, don't... listen, right. If, if um, if you, if you're going to play the game like that, it better work, right? And it didn't work. It was fucking embarrassing. We were we were literally playing with two banks, often of five, right? Pressed closely together to put as many bodies in the way as possible, and. He never panicked. They never panicked. They just carried on knocking on the door. And then they put, um, uh, what's his name on? Uh, he was the difference maker, Boniface. He came on. He had Zuma in his fucking pocket. Uh, Zuma couldn't handle him in the friendly. And it was it was tie over as far as it's, I'm concerned. It, 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 it wasn't it, even, it wasn't even, it wasn't defense. It was a changes. But anyone who's watching or who has been following Leverkusen in the last, fucking few months they're known as later Kusen because what they do is this is what they it's do because late, every yeah. everyone who plays against them does what yeah. we do yeah. so what they do is they keep on knocking on the door repeatedly over and over and over again with the same thing yeah. passages of play pulling you about wearing you out uh, and then it gets to the last 15 uh, minutes and then yeah. they change it up and they fucking kill you i said that i said this, that at the start of the game when it was yeah, happening Rich, i said Richard, they're gonna kill us at the end of the game richard i'm sorry i'm sorry but no, I can't blame the players. Pick it to mean, take a lot of the blame. The, the, the player, the, the player, the way he set them up was to what do you be, want these players he, to do, he, man? He set them up in a fucking dartboard formation what, what so, to, to let do? the other team to let the other team have pot shots at us. Luckily, their shooting was a little bit wayward tonight, right? Luckily, their sort of intricate moves were a little bit wayward, and so. What happened at the end is fucking obvious. You know, Alonso just switched to plan B. He put the big lump on, and the big lump caused fucking havoc in the centre of our defence, and we didn't know how to handle him. We fell to pieces like we, a cheap, we, like we, a cheap we, suit. We, we, we literally had two players flourished in that game. The rest of them were yeah. just bodies. That's all they were, including yeah. Paqueta. Yeah. You had Antonio at the top, who was phenomenal yeah. on his own, fighting the defenders, and you had Fabianski at the other end. Either end. The rest of the bodies in the middle were just basically fucking trees that David Moyes planted on the pitch. That's yeah. all they were. Yeah, yeah, and um, and and look, Fab was was brilliant, but I do partly blame him for that goal. To be honest, they everyone let it through, didn't no, they? He, everyone he let it through. He, he couldn't see it. Well, it was it, yeah. it was his line of sight. If you watch it back, yeah, yeah look, it was sloppy, but it literally where the ball was struck, it was going through bodies. You, yeah, you, you yeah. can't blame him. The geezer saved it from from being no. two, three, or four nil. No, I agree. I agree. I mean, if if that was his view, I didn't see the replay like that. To be honest, it was, um, yeah. I, I listen. It, it was a disgusting, disgraceful display of defensive football. That had it worked, we would have been praising it as a job done. Bring them back next week, right? As it stands now, this is tie over because we're two 0 down against what will be the German champions by the time we play them again, and we're without. Paqueta, we're without Emerson, we're without Bowen, we might be without Dean or C. Looked like he'd, he'd taken a knock as well, right? We are fucked. Yeah, but get because... Gary, Gary, right? All the people that have travelled over to Leverkusen, right? They've gone over there, yeah, to watch Leverkusen play football. Yes, I know. We I know, did I know. fuck all. I'm not yeah. having a go at the players here. 
I think individually they stuck to the tasks that they were given by yeah, dickhead yeah, yeah, yeah. on the fucking yeah. sidelines by yeah. that fucking dinosaur. They yeah. stuck to their task and that whatever they was told to do, they did it. They tried to fucking see it through. But it was ridiculous. They was on a hide into nothing. Leverkusen have been doing this all season. Yeah, I know. They're coming, I know, up, against, I know. They're coming, they're coming up against teams that try and do the same thing and then they switch it up. It's all part of the plan. They yeah. switch it up at the end, bang, 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 dead. They've been yeah. doing it all season. Yeah. Uh, us guys are clueless, mate. Are we? Well, yeah. What's that? Who's what the that? Fuck does that who's make called noise? This, who's called oh, us clueless? Oh, some Jedi cunt on there. Well, Don't can you block up. the Jedi cunt? Use the force yeah. and block him. Yeah, let's do some blocking. Let's do some blocking. Where go are on. you? Jedi? I haven't blocked this one. Go on. Good night, Jedi. Good yeah, night. Go on. Fuck off, Jedi. See you later. Ban user and delete their horrible. Go on, fuck yourself with a lightsaber, you weirdo. Yeah. Right, um, <laughs> Um, but yeah. I, I, no, but no, but honestly, that was that 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 was too much for me. Um, <laughs> that 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 was um, you could see you could see the way that game was going from the lineup, you know. But like I said to you, the big talk before the game, Gary, you know, the real sort of fighting talk from David Moyes when he kind of took exception by when when the reporter said, "Do you think it plays a part that it's going to be you know uh, first position versus seventh? Well, what does that matter?" It's just 11 men versus 11 men. Well, why did you fucking set up like that then, Dave? He was terrified of them. I mean, he, it, that is that is low block plus that yeah. he put premium edition that he put in place today. Five defenders, right? It wasn't a back three. It was a back five. Paqueta and Caduceus were also defenders. They were making up part of the next line of what? usually four, what, occasionally what, what, five. What Right. We've got Louis and we've got Sam, the mods. Yeah. Right, listen, I haven't I haven't um set the, the rule on this one so people can come in and comment. So you're probably gonna have a lot. Get your fucking get your spanners out and, and block people that come in that are being yeah. arseholes. Go on. Yeah. Go on. I mean, this 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 was the lowest, as uh, Tony said there, the lowest block, right? This wasn't just low block, it was the lowest. There was times where we had a line of five and a line of four in, inside our own box, right? Inside the 18 yard line. Yeah. And yeah. is all we were doing was literally trying to, um, you know, we didn't give the wingers like Frimpong or whatever, somebody to run out and go past. We literally, they didn't come up to anyone, any opposition until they got to the edge of our box when they had two defenders stood in front of them. Right now it is spoiling tactics and there was a chance that it might have worked. But like you said, they always score late. They but did it, it is, in the last it, round. But, they but, do it all the time. But, and but again, it's still reliant on such a ridiculous amount of luck that David Moyes, he's dependent on divine intervention. I know, I know. It's, 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 it's them not hitting the ball straight at Fabianski. It's Fabianski yeah. pulling off a couple of worldy saves. Uh, let, me, let me just... Let, what, what were the fucking stats? Oh, it was ridiculous. They, they, ha they had... Uh, right, hang on. 76 <laughs> or 78%. They had 32 possession. goal attempts to our one. One goal attempt, yeah. Yeah, that was kudos, which was a back pass. Yeah, that was it. That was it. That was the one time we never affected them from a set piece, from a corner. Not that we had many, because they were doing their job and not giving us many corners, right? Uh, they knew we would be dangerous from them. Um, this is, yeah, I, Six, I, I said... 691 completed passes to 207. I said on my show today, Nick, that 2 0 would be the absolute worst case scenario to take back to London Stadium where we might be able to recover it. That was before we lost Paquetta and Emerson, right? Without Paquetta, you know what we're like, right? Without Emerson, what are we going to do? Put Ben Johnson out there? Um, we've got to go for this game because we're 2 0 down. So we've got to revert back to a four, haven't we? We go back to a four, that means Cresswell potentially playing as a left back. It's scary. Oh, I don't know. Imagine Cresswell versus Frimpong. Exactly. No, no, no. Look, I think the shape was right. I think Louis said earlier on. Yeah. I think the shape was right, but 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 the personnel was wrong. It it, yeah. it was wrong. You know, um, there's too many slow slow players in there. That um, the mid there was no midfield. It was it yeah. was just another bank of defenders. There wasn't a midfield. There was no midfield in the middle. Occasionally, very occasionally, throughout that game, we managed to sort of push ourselves up that pitch and. Um, I probably you can probably count on count on one hand the amount of times we did it where we kind of just we we, we ventured into a normal shape of a football team and we had a striker a midfield and a, and a back line the rest of the time it was all compact cramped in our yeah. own fucking half it was it, it happened about half a dozen times in the whole game that we yeah. broke out like that and never once did we put on a proper counter attack the only counter attack 
worth it. Self, um, self-made Antonio. It's how self-made Antonio. You know when um, uh, Caduce, he got the ball and he started running at him early on? He's all he had yeah. in front of him was three defenders, nobody else. Paqueta got the ball out on the wing. He looked up to, to look for Caduce. Nowhere to be seen defending. So he had to turn around and go back. That is the way he set us up. He set us up to not score goals today, right? That was not going to be like the Arsenal one where it was a smash and grab because we had no way of doing that, right? Yeah. This was defend for our fucking lives and keep it, keep the score down as much as possible. And what did he do when he was 1-0 down? Exactly what he did the other day. He doubled down and brought on more fucking defenders. Yeah, I know. I know. And then we conceded again and nearly conceded again. And 3 0 definitely would have been tie over because it kind of is at the moment, right? But we never we're, know. We're, we're not, we're not, you do know, Gary. Yeah, we're, I know. We're, we ain't I, turning I know. that around. They're too Listen, fucking good. And he terrified I've, of them. I've paid a full of my ticket as usual. So I'm going down there next week, yeah. my two tickets. I'm going to go down there. I'm going to go in it with uh, in, into the ground with a little bit of hope. But it might, the sensible side of my mind tells me that's our European adventure's over for quite a while um yes you might say we're still in it in the league but let's face it three days time what we're going to play the same 11 players same 11 players um, and then I'll, I'll four, four what, days uh, after that we're going to play but, the same 11 players but, but, but you know what well, it, was nil, it, it was it was nil nil wasn't it up until he made the amazing change of taking caduce off our only outlet um and brought on what did he do he took off well, he bought on he, Agued and Johnson. Um, he took off um, uh, Antonio and... Caduce. A, a Dinos went off as well, didn't he? Oh, so it was Dinos and Caduce that came off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fucking yeah. hell. I mean, that was, that, it, was, that was inspired, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. It really it was. was. But, yeah, but so Ma- Maver upon us for Agued and uh, Ben Johnson for Caduce. That's what he did. So, uh, no, it was 1-0 at that point. It was 1-0. He, he thought he'd try and um, hold on to the 1-0 lead. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and uh, yeah... He came, he came on, you know, what he's, what he's done today, that was Moyes ball versus anti Moyes ball today, right? And um, we saw what won. And um, that, that, was foot, that was football versus whatever the fuck it is that we do. It's, it's, it isn't an, football. It's well, not it's, football. It's, it's anti football, isn't it? It's anti football. It's not football. football. We played that like it was a, you know, like we were a fourth division side, like a, I don't know, a fucking, exactly. a fifth, sixth tier side exactly. playing against the Premier League side. That's how afraid we were from the fucking start. The only one that wasn't afraid was Antonio, right? They weren't yeah. afraid. It's just the way they were made to play made them look afraid. They were fucking just, just trying to deny the other team space and trying to get the bodies equidistant, you know, placed across the pitch so that they were like fucking static, um, you know, static traffic cones that they had to get through. And they didn't get through those do, traffic do you know, cones. Do you, know what, do you know what makes me laugh, right? Tim Steinton's come from that club. He's helped build it. He He's bought Frim, Frimpong. He bought, He's, I think he bought uh, Boniface. Tat, 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 he bought, so he bought, he bought, yeah. bought most of them. Tat, so yeah, yeah. He bought, bought most of them in, right? He bought, um, he bought Kudos. He bought Alvarez. He bought, he bought, you know. he bought most of them in, right? Yeah. And um, and people have been getting overexcited on Twitter from that fucking half-clipped sentence uh, of of David Mo- uh, of Tim Steinton has learned an incredible amount from David Moyes. That's, yeah, that's the bullshit. bit. That's, that's the bullshit. clip, right? Yeah. The full sentence is, <coughs> I've learned an incredible amount about a different perspective in football. He doesn't go on to it's, say that's a yeah. great perspective. He just He's basically saying, I've never seen anything like this before. Yeah, it's kind of nice uh, for him to see other perspectives, and that's a perspective he <laughs> don't think much of. Let's be honest, right? Is what, uh, what, what is he? What has he learned? It's so from disingenuous da- Ga- Ga- for Gary, people what, what to learned fucking put that out there. What has he learned from David? He's learned to Tim never Stein. ever go near a manager with those kind of with that kind of mindset ever yeah, again. Yeah. But those managers don't exist anymore. No. He is a product of twenty years ago, of ten years ago. Well, no, twenty. Right? He is old school what's, um, manager. What's, what's gaffer, King as they he's call still them, waiting. Right? What does he mean? What's that? what's that? King, he's saying he's still waiting. Is he? I don't what know for? where he's waiting. Oh, he said he wanted to come on. Oh, hang on. Oh, fucking hell, Kingy. I'll oh, um, give him the link. Give him the link. But yeah, yeah. Look, look it was, it was, it was awful. Um, I saw Sight and um, and and Alonso hugging at the end there as well, all smiles. But um, you know, uh, it, it's listen. What can you say? He helped bring him there as well. Oh, it's just um, right. So just so fucking hell. It, if you look at the players on that pitch, I mean, Alvarez didn't play tonight, but you know, Dinos, Kudos, Alvarez, 
the myriad of players that played for them, it's, plus, it's, plus look, it's, their it's manager, it's, it's, is probably it's responsible for for twelve he, or thirteen. He, he, he didn't. He didn't even try to do anything different to cause a surprise. He didn't even try to break. Yeah. I don't know what he was. I, I, I swear. He's just hoping for a miracle in every game, Gary. Yeah, he is. In he is. Every he is. game, he's hoping he for a miracle. He believes yeah. entirely in his way of doing things. This is this is his season where he proves that Moyes' ball is the. This would have been like the biggest gold star for Moyes' ball to actually get away with a nil-nil draw against a way to Leverkusen. Yeah. You know, in a way, he could have gone and he would have been on the phone to fucking Sullivan straight away saying, I told you, I told you, this is what happens. My football wins games, right? And uh, now what's he going to do? Because he looked fucking angry at the end. And um, there's nothing to be angry about because he, it's his fault. They, and, they, I, I, and, I, think that, I think that team heroically tried to... They really did. I think did. they, I really think did. they did a yeah. magnificent job. Yeah. trying to do that thankless fucking they, task that he set them. They they nearly did it, but then they, they've got so much strength in depth that they took Frimpong off, put, put another winger on. Bonnie Face, he came on. He, he's the real deal, the guy, isn't he? He's the real deal. Yeah. He came on. The fucking Zuma was was totally out of his depth. Hello, Kingy. Totally Hello, out mate. of his depth against, yes. against, against Bonnie Face. Didn't know what to do with him. Didn't have a clue. Just like the just friendly in the summer depressing. where he destroyed Zuma. He did it again tonight. Next week, they'll have they'll have him on the bench again next week. Yeah, you know, Jonathan Tarr, I think he had a largely untroubled night apart from that once where Antonio did an Antonio and knocked it past him. And, and genuinely, like I said in my video today, there weren't going to be many chances. But when no. we got a chance, we had to take it. And and that really fucking I, disappointed me. I agree. Well, look, we're going to do the player yeah. rating. So um, yeah. uh, I'm going to set this up. Just quiz Kingy on the game. Um, and then uh, yeah. we're going to get into the player ratings. So, Kingy, not up nice and early today. What time is it over there? 5 a.m. start this morning, mate. Lovely. Lovely. Ooh, Lovely. Um, Nearly time to go to work. Nearly time to go to work. Nearly time to go to work, mate. But, yeah, it's a shame. Bad start to the day. But... Yeah, I think that kudos um, chance right at the beginning. It was uh, it was there begging. I know that we can't put everything onto it, but yeah. we go one nil up there, and I don't you, know. It, it was our only shot in the entire. It was, it was just just so one. Shot, it was one it. shot. You've one shot. Yeah, that's all one shot all game. One so shot. How many did they have over thirty? Wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, it's and um, yeah, no, no, it's not. They, had, they, had, they had six hundred and ninety passes to our two hundred. And you can see why they've got a 90 plus percent accuracy rate with their passing because they're so comfortable. It's like muscle memory to them, right? They don't they even play. have to look up. They know where each other is, right? They, 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 they do that in training. They do that in training. It's drilled into them. Do you know, so do you know what? Do, doing, doing this lineup is actually winding me up, putting it on the screen. Yeah. But the thing is, like you said just now, Nick, I mean, Kingy, I don't know about you, but I, I personally, yeah. I don't put much accountability on the players for this. I thought they gave it their all. They really oh, mate, gave 100%. it. They, they gave it as much as they had. Yeah, they emptied the tank, mate. And um, a David Moyes team is like Homer Simpson in a boxing match. Yeah. You're just going to get smacked, 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 and you're waiting for that fucking killer blow. And unfortunately, yeah. it doesn't come along all the time. So... And no. it just proves it's the small this morning tonight, whatever you want to call it. Well, whenever <laughs> whenever he's got away with playing like that against a good side, because there's been a few times, isn't there? You know, Arsenal, for instance. Um, you know, that it's been there's been a lot of luck involved in that, right? There's been a the, the team that's that's um that's on the attack, you know, against our low block, they've got to be off their game. And occasionally that's gonna happen. But I think what you saw with um, with Alonso is number one, he's very cute. Number two, he never panics. He looks totally calm, ice oh, cool. It's, 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 yeah. He just he just he just knows what's what he's doing. He knows yeah, what he's doing. Yeah, and he just put um, you know he he put Bonnie face on, gave him instructions, and bang bang, you know he had a he 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 got wasn't, his body in the way for the first wasn't goal. Ho wasn't Hoffman a sub? He was. Yeah, yeah. Hoffman came on. Yeah, yeah. So he's two a good player as well. Yeah, yeah. Two subs, two changes. Yeah, and look two, what happens. Two goals, yeah. Um, yeah. We, well, look. we bring on two defenders. Yeah, I, mean, I think he made four subs. I think he made four subs. Yeah, he don't fuck around. He, he yeah. it's, it's literally what they've been doing. They've been destroying teams. Um, yeah. So look, let's let's get into the player ratings anyway. Um, uh, well, Kingy, what are your thoughts on Fabs? I thought he was fucking. I thought people are going to pick a, pick holes in him with a goal that he conceded with a goal that he conceded. 
But it was only down to him that we went three, four, fucking five nil. He pulled off some well, world class saves, didn't he? Yeah. That, that fingertip over the bar was class. That was wonderful, yeah, wonderful, unbelievable. Um, I'm, 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 I can't really see how anyone can fault him tonight. Like no. even the goal, like that's gone through about six players. Do you want to do the uh, comments, girl? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, so, uh, someone, someone's got to put their foot out at some point and try and stop that game through six players. So I'm not going to blame him on that one. And I think the header was definitely Zuma's fault. He needs to be getting out. So I'm going to give yeah. Fab a very good number eight, at least. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Emerson is out too. Uh, Emerson and Paquette are both banned, as a lot of people are saying. That, and we're two 0 down, and Bowen's probably out as well. So we're fucked. Yeah, it's, it's dead. We're, we're, we're it's fucked. dead. We're, we've gone out. We've, we've we've gone out with an absolute whimper, <laughs> and that isn't that isn't uh, a lot. You've just said it isn't on the players because the players yeah. put in heroic performances. They did the best with the wanker tactics that they that they were uh, told to deliver. Yeah. That's what they yeah, did. Yeah. Yeah. But that tie is dead, and we didn't even lay a fucking glove on them. Here's this is this is exactly the same as what happened in the um in the Frankfurt season. He has fucked it up, right? He um played negatively against Frankfurt as well, tried to low block his way through that. That was never gonna work. They no. were there for the taking, definitely. They weren't in Leverkusen's class, right? But he put us on the back foot, like he always no. fucking does. The trouble is you put us on the back foot over over in a league game, you might get away with it. It's a one-off, right? Yeah. You do it over two legs, you're in invariably going to get fucked. The cream is going to rise to the top, right? Yeah, I agree. What, Gary Emerson? Well, he got booked. He got banned. Um, I don't. I think he had a, a, a solid game. He worked really hard to stop Frimpong, um, him and Cresswell, and whoever was playing in front of him, uh, Paqueta. Uh, Paqueta tried to uh, kill Frimpong at one point, didn't he? So, um, so yeah, I give him a, I give him a six. Yeah, but do you know, do you know what? Do you know how important that was that period? I know they, I know he got booked, Paquetta. But do you know that that was actually disrupted and it disrupted their flow. He yeah. got under their skin. He yeah. was starting to fucking get stuck into them. It was so important what he did because it broke up play. You had, you had Fabianski getting cautioned for time wasting after fifteen minutes. Yeah. <laughs> What do you, you think? Know, the, what do you think the Moyes inners are going to say tonight? What are they going to say? They're going to oh, say, well, 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 it was the German, well, it was the German champions. Is that what they're going to say? Because they were saying this morning, oh, we're going to destroy that record. Oh, Gary, so Mate, what's, it, it, what, Gary, what score did you give him? Six, six. It cool. gets better. I just watched the David Moyes uh, interview on BT, oh, what on CNT, say? and he said that we we basically played a Champions League team. That so he's already got his excuse. Oh, he's a prick. Okay. Thing well, is, thing is, is that, a, thing is, Atalanta just played a champion, Champions League team. And yeah, they beat them three nil. They beat them three nil at Liverpool. Atalanta beat them three nil. Skamaka scored twice. Because what he said, even though he didn't believe it, what he said in his pre-match uh, press conference was, and it is eleven men versus fucking eleven, and anything can happen in in, in any ninety minutes if you set up the right way. But he just does the same shit over and over again. So foul. What was, what was that weird, creepy smile on his face at the start of that interview? He's as well? just, he's, he's just, he's, weird. he's just a weird cunt, honestly. Um, uh, Soufal, uh, I thought Soufal was that was one of Soufal's better games today. It was he one well. of his better he games. Well, yeah. I think, yeah. I think, I think yeah. he bullied, he bullied the guy on his side. I uh, quite yeah. enjoyed it. Um, you he know, took he won. A ball it was getting, no, I'll tell, get, tell you what, he kept Grimaldo quiet, which ain't no, it's, that's not easy to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he kept him relatively quiet. I'm going to give him a seven. It's his yeah. best game for a while, so yeah, he deserves it. He deserves it because I thought I, I thought he should have been dropped, so I got that one wrong. Yeah, uh, yeah Mav uh, Dinos Mavropanos, Kingy. I'm gonna go. I thought he was very good tonight. If I'm being honest, he was. I, I thought he, yeah. he, I thought he put his body on the line for everything. He was up and down, like he was winning everything in the air. Um, I'm gonna say seven, seven. I say seven. So look at that. Moyes fans asking, well, he ain't got anyone on the bench, has he? What do you expect him to do? <laughs> you got to laugh. It's because of, it's because of fucking it's David By Moyes. design, my friend. By design. By design. Also, I didn't, uh, I didn't last with me not drinking this fucking uh, month fever. Yeah, well done. Is that, is that, um, no, no. You're looking, you're looking trim, mate. Thanks, mate. Yeah. You're looking uh, trimmer when he does the fast. Right. That's going to kill me. I know. I'm looking forward, I am looking forward to that, though. I think uh, you should do a fast until Moyes goes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, was I, a, I, uh, Kingy, it was a seven you gave him, wasn't it? Yeah, seven, mate, yeah. Uh, right, Gary Cresswell. 
Cresswell, yeah, yeah, he did a job. He did a job. I thought that whole defensive line was was that was solid actually. Yeah, they, apart they, from of, yeah, apart from towards the end when you know re reinforcements came on for them and they just had nothing left in the tank. I think that's that's what I put it down to. So I'll give him a, um, yeah, I'll give him a, a, a seven, a six. What do you reckon? Oh, so I think a seven. I, I think he's worth a a seven. It? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I think I think that whole back line really. Uh, yeah, yeah, give, yeah. Upgrade Emerson to a seven as well because it deserve, yeah. they deserve it for the fucking I'm, treatment they had today. I'm I'm going to go for a seven on. Uh, it was literally non-stop pressure the yeah. whole time. Yeah. And do you know what? I'm just relieved that in this game it wasn't down to an individual error because it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It no. was just overwhelming pressure, and eventually the other team scored. There's no one that anyone can blame. Yeah. You know, we can't put Moyes can't point the finger at a player in this one. They did their jobs. They didn't crack. Crack. It was just these wanky tactics. It was as simple as that. As he said in his um, pre-match press conference, Gary, what was it? You know, where he kept on going. You know, it's me. It's it's. it's oh yeah, it's, yeah. It's all, asked him about it's, it's, someone it's asked me. him about the uh, the 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 wins against. You always seem to get win beat beat these big sides like Leon and Seville. Why is that? Oh yeah, I think the team went out with my attitude. I send them out there to do this. I did this. I did that. Took total credit for it. Yeah. And um, and tonight, right. you know, in an interview, it'll be, oh, we, we. Yeah. The player oh, yeah, we need to. I yeah. watched it. <laughs> yeah. It was, mate. He's a wanker. He's an he's an actual wanker. I yeah. can't stand him. Yeah. I, I, he's personal now. I fucking yeah. hate him. Um, no, I, I really do. As soon as he um, fucks off, the better. Yeah. yeah I can't, I can't stand him. Uh, right, Kingy, Wall Press. Yeah. Non-existent, mate. He, was. He, he, can't, he can't deliver a fucking ball to save his life. Nope. Um, he was just running around his headless chicken, mate. And he's playing against Xhaka in the, from the Premier's were ex Prem player. Yeah. And he just looked out of his depth completely. Like, yeah, I'm going to go. I, I just thought he was that. shit. I thought he was shit. Yeah, four. Donkey. Donkey him off. He was on there only to deliver set pieces. And his set pieces were fucking terrible. They always are. Well, sometimes they're not against shit sides, but they're never good no, against yeah, good it, sides. It, it weren't windy. It weren't windy enough out there. No, um, <laughs> no, that's right. That's right. Oh, it's one of the best goals you've ever seen. He meant it. Yeah, of course. Even even he said he didn't fucking mean it. He said it was oh, wind right. assisted. Um, right, Gary Suchek. Uh, Suchek, look, couple of good what, blocks. Couple he done what blocks. Suchek does. He he was yeah. he was the workhorse in mid in the, yeah. in the central midfield. He he was defending a lot. Good block seven. Give him a seven. Yeah. Um, I'll take Paquetta. Um, I'm flabbergasted that people were criticising him. Uh, I think uh, I think it's difficult for him in there with those two because although Sutek had a decent game, that is a shit midfield. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. He's he's in there trying to hold it all together, trying. You know, the the minute he gets the ball, they know that he's the only threat. He had two or three or four four players on him at he times. Did. He did. He was. I thought. I thought a couple of times he held the ball up. I. I have got the ump with the yellow card, but that ain't going to be the reason that we go out in the next round. No. That's not, not at all. He was getting stuck in. He gave a fuck. Um, he was, he's the one that's tasked with trying to fucking hold on to the ball. Um, so, no, for me, I'm going to, I'm going to give him a seven as well. Because, uh, like I said, what can, you, what can you do? What could he do with what he was given to work with? He was frustrated. He did put in a few good tackles as well. Put and in a few naughty fun. challenges. I just like the fact he gives a fuck. And he yeah. does care. He does care. You know, um, he, so divides, no. he divides opinion, Paquetta, right? Uh, some oh, people, I, I love some, him. He's, you know, he's, our, he's our best player by country, Mo. I don't care. Oh, he, I don't, I don't he understand, is, don't understand he, people. He's, he's borderline world class. And um, yeah. and when he's asked to be a defender, that is the sort of performance, niggly performance you're going to get out of him. Is he it, was a is defender it, today. Is it, sim is it as simple as because he's our best player, when we lose, we blame him because he hasn't yeah, yeah, because he hasn't he hasn't done the, um, he hasn't bailed Moyes out with a moment of genius in setting yeah. someone up, you know, yeah. playing a ball through to someone that ain't even there right yeah exactly uh yeah yeah it's not it's not his fault he was asked to do what he was asked to do there were a couple of times he looked up he had the ball at his feet he was looking for someone to pass to especially at one when, when he was out wide there was nobody there so what yeah. the fuck is he supposed to do that is how he thrives right he gets the ball and he releases it really quickly to an attacking player and uh there was no one there to pass to not even antonio who by the end of the game antonio was fucking defending on the goal do, line do you do you think that lucas Paqueta? And Caduce have ever in their careers been asked to play this type of football? No, like they play not at all. Not at all. You're, you're... You know what? I said on show last night, I said Pekatar be asked to play a role today. It was very important for him to do exactly what he was told by Moyes. 
Yeah. And that's, as you said, Gary, that's exactly what you're going to get from him when he is told to do a certain job. Yeah, and you can't and, criticize him for it, right, Ryan? No, it, 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 no you can't because he's not a fucking defensive player. No, no, no. Uh, he, right. Um, who was next? For Kingy, Kadoosh. I think he had a mixed game for me. Um, he, he drove well, but I just think that. I think missing that opportunity in the fucking first 10 minutes or something is probably dropped him for me. So I'll probably say seven, seven for me. Yeah, I, I think I think he did well with what he could. I think a couple of times he was so deep. He was basically a second. He was he was back there with with Sufal, with Grimaldo. Um, yeah. He was back there trying to defend. He was picking the ball up in, and going, our, yeah. in, in our own half and he was going at sort of two or three players. He was holding the ball up well at times. Yeah. I don't what 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 are he, these players supposed he worked, to do? He worked his fucking socks off over there on the side. Yeah. He, was, he was really trying to drive with the ball. He was trying to launch into dribbles as well as get back and do all that defensive work. It must be so destroying for him. Yeah, yes, isn't it? And and Pekka, to be, to lower yourself to play football like that, and I, and that is lowering yourself because that yeah. is it's, it is like you said earlier on. It is it's like it's like a fucking non-league um stuff. It's ridiculous what we try to do, uh, and I, and I did like I said I did say before the game I thought my only hope would be that we could come out of that with a nil nil because I knew what David Moyes was going to do and it was in the hope yeah. that it would work. Yeah, um, but it was just it's just naive. It's just naive because. Teams like that are too good, and they're just going to keep on going. They are, you know. Uh, Antonio, Gary. Uh, I thought probably the best player. To, well, you, you going to let me mark him, or are you going to do it? Yeah, yeah. Go on, just, give <laughs> it, just giving you, giving you I, a tip. I thought he was probably our best player, to be honest. I yeah. thought he was. Um, it, he was. He was. He ran his ass off, one hundred and ten percent for Mickey. Uh, definitely my man of the match. Uh, let's look at the scores. I'll give him an eight. Yeah, he, he was winning his own headers. He, he was winning he, his second, oh, every he, second ball. He really was. Like, and the and the only chance in the game, he made it off his own back, right? By heading past yeah, heading his own header past um um Jonathan Tarr. Tarr. But that, yeah. but that's but that's why David Moyes' system has been so effective for so long with Antonio, because yeah. all he yeah, has to do is play land. defensive is play yeah. defensive football and just let Antonio do all the work, you know. Yeah. Win a header, put his own, put a through ball, win and run on for your own fucking through ball, you know, which yeah. is effectively what he did today. He knocked the ball out in front of him and ran onto it. He did, he yeah, passed exactly. it to himself. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that's what he did. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, I, I think he, I think he's a man in a match anyway. I, I don't think there's yeah. much doubt. In it. If yeah. if uh, it was it was him or him or Fabs, in my opinion, um, yeah. they were the two best performers. I, I think I think Fabs made two. I think blinding saves, wonderful saves. The rest were as you'd expect them, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a couple for the cameras, I thought. You know, yeah, yeah, definitely. Even, Especially the first really... one. Fucking hell. Yeah. But it's, yeah. But it's the, the way the goalkeeper, you see it so many times when they save it and it just drops in the fucking six yard box. He has pushed a couple away nicely as yeah. well. I, yeah. I thought it was quite a good goalkeeping, uh, really. But... And, 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 do you, and do you know what? How much better was the standard of officiating and VAR in this game? The game just flowed. Way Big better. time. The game got, just flowed. It was so quick, so snappy. There was no issues. I've said it before. They've got it right in Europe. You know why? Because they only use VAR for four different things. I forget what they are, but it's four different things. It's very limited scope. They get. They seem to get it right every time. It's it's the way it should be done, right? It's the way it should yeah. be done. But why do yes. that when you can fuck it up? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Mace, there's a lot of eights and sevens because I loathe to blame the players. Exactly. Uh, for this. Exactly, Mace. Uh, I, I, I think they were, the, I think that they, they almost executed perfectly what David Moyes asked them to do. And it was, it was the game plan that was bollocks. It wasn't what they, it wasn't their effort. I think that they, they did their best. David Moyes, uh, I'll get stuck into, I've already spoken about him with this. Um, uh, he, he completely and utterly waved the white flag. He did, you know, uh, yeah. he, he went, he went out there to try, uh, to try and sort of call on some more divine intervention, you know, and another gust of wind to get him a point or to get him three points. Yeah. He, he, he's got no intention. He's, I don't think he's got any belief in his own ability. I don't think he has because he it, it's it, it, there's such a stark contrast between the two teams that we just watched. What Leverkusen are is a team that are coached. They're, uh, they're coached brilliantly. Oh, it's, it's it's like, it was one, it is wonderful to see, right? Wonderful so, to see. And then yeah. when you see us... And the way that we play, it's it's just it's it's night and day. It's ridiculous. It's pathetic. I'm sick of watching it. I can't stand 
this cunt managing us any longer. I no. fucking hate him. I don't like his his personality is every bit as ugly as his football. Um, I, I'm I'm sick of it. I want him to go. It's done. There's no not a chance in hell you can clip me yeah. and fucking do whatever you want with this. I'm comfortable saying it. There is not a chance in hell we're getting fuck away at this in the second leg. He's, no. he, he, all, all he wanted to do was not lose badly. Yeah. And in fact, do you know what he'll do in the next one? It'll be don't lose badly. Don't get embarrassed. That's what yeah. it'll be again. Well, look, the only way we're going to get anything out of this game, in theory, even though we won't, the only it's way he's getting a C. No, honestly, the only way we would get anything out of this second leg, the only way we'd have any chance, even though we ain't got a chance, would be to attack him, right? Yeah, no chance. Though, he's got no Dodgy. chance. He won't do it. He Dodgy in do Germany. It. Dodgy in Deutschland. Um, no, I don't think there's a chance we're going to cheer you up, Dodgy, because I think that must have been every bit as bad inside the stadium. Going all that way, getting planes trains and automobiles to get along to the stadium thank god we've got a great away following because you would have had a lot of fun in the bars but fucking hell you had to sit through 94 minutes of that tripe i might and... be able to cheer him up a little bit though Sorry, because well, i saw Tim start and have a nice little cuddle with alonzo at the end of the game <laughs> he had a massive yeah. smile on his face yeah and one of the boys from brisbane hammers he was like What's Tim Starton smiling for? I went because he knows he gets to pick the next manager next season. Now, yeah, That's what it's he's it's, it's, it's never it's never going to happen, mate. He's committed his future to to Leverkusen now. It's done. Yeah. So so uh, no, I'm not uh, talking about Alonso. I'm saying Tim Starton is happy now. He knows oh, that he gets he's to pick ma the mate. Manager. He's happy. That's why he came out in that press conference and said what he said because he knows what's coming now. He, he's he's basically he's had to play the long game. He wanted to come in and take over West Ham. There was a a big hoo ha yeah. when he came in. He had to take a reduced role because David Moyes is a petulant prick. Yeah. Um, you know, and uh, it looks like that starting has had to earn his stripes and, and David Moyes has had to prove beyond yeah. any doubt that he's a complete cunt, which he has done in, in, in with his last two signings, in my opinion. Yeah, no, um, absolutely. I mean, he's completely fucked up, single-handed, yeah. fucked up the second half of our season, right? He yeah. really, really has. And he's done it deliberately by design. And he has gone all out to play his brand of football. And it it's even gone as far as getting fucking Moyes out banners. That's how extreme he got at one point, right? Yeah. And um, and it, and it's, it's only been recovered by the odd game of attacking football. But when things are going slightly well, we just beat Wolves. It's licensed to go extreme fucking low block again, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think yeah. With, I think with you, the, we got away with murder with against Wolves. Yeah, I think with a home leg as well. If we if yeah. we start really defensive, as we all we're all aware, it's probably going to happen. Yeah. And they're, they're having thirty shots on our goal. I tell you what, yeah. that place will become toxic on fucking next Thursday night. Oh, oh look, the other real. the other one he didn't fancy. Haller scored in the Champions League against Madrid, <laughs> so. Skamaka scored twice against, and uh, Owen Anderson's being shipped out for thirty odd million to somewhere he's going else. To Juventus. He? He's going to Juventus. It's fucking amazing. All he, you know, doesn't Sullivan does he does he not know these things? What's going on? How, how much Haller's now worth? How much Skamaka will be worth? But, We've but, given these fucking yeah, players yeah, but, yeah, away. Yeah, Gary, Gary, giving I'll, them I'll, away. Gary, I can tell you three of those players now that we were offered that we turned down. Yeah, we was offered Grimaldo. Yeah. In uh, before he went to Leverkusen, oh, we've and been off with, as well. Sl uh, Hlosek, the the the, the number uh, nine. Yeah, yeah. no, Hlosek, Hlosek, We were, well, I don't know about that. I think that was an iffy one because of um, uh, Krasinski was the the owner of the the club that he was at. So I don't think you could do yeah. that. It was that was a bit odd. But the the three players that I do know um, is Grimaldo, uh, Jonathan Tarr, and the other one, Tat Sober. Uh, Tat Sober could have come in this window. Moyes didn't want him, and Jonathan Tarr. Uh, Two, two or three. Well, Jonathan Tarr, we could have got him for fifteen million. That was the one who Tim Stein yeah. was trying to force him to sign. Yeah, but there yeah, was yeah. A, there was a, there was a window. He had to sign him before a, before a certain point, or his or his price went up. And, and, and Moyes Moyes slammed the brakes and wanted Maguire. Wanted Moyes Moyes was so Moyes, useless Moyes, cunt. Moyes is so sure that his way is the best way. Right? Is that this is why they even though he was an employed by Moyes already his son employed as a scout he was already there but they announced it as if it was a new signing as if as if Moyes was getting his team been there around him right he yeah. has and um and that that body is there basically um to do what Moyes used to do which is go and watch players about 15 fucking times and uh, you know, because he, he he had to watch him and watch him and watch him again, and then he had to meet him, and then he had to watch him and watch him. That's why Everton called him Diver and Dave because he took forever to yeah. sign a player, right? And um, yeah, I, honestly, I can't wait to not see his face. All but the do, do, time. Do, do you know? Do you know what? I, it wouldn't strike. It wouldn't surprise me if David Moyes 
doesn't even believe himself that he can get past Leverkusen. And all he wanted to do was to keep it tight yeah. so that he can say, so that because because he said it before, you know, and, he, and he'll brag mm. about this. He'll brag about the fact that we got to a quarterfinal and we were only knocked out by Leverkusen. He'll brag about this. Yeah, of course he will. Because like I this, said this, the this, other this, day. This, this, this is his uh, achievement, the cunt. I think we both agree on this. Because quarterfinal has got final in the title, he likes to say it, right? Yeah. Oh, we got to two quarterfinals. We got to a quarterfinal in Europe. Three years running, quarterfinals. Well, a semifinal and a final as well, right? Don't forget. But enough. Um, and, and everyone, when they're giving out these stats, it really makes me laugh when they give out stats and equate our European campaigns with Man City. And, and and other teams who have played fucking Champions League teams. We played Silky Borg and Vyborg and Freiburg and but people like that. Like, it's yeah, not in the same class as the teams you, that Man City have played. At, but you look at Aston Villa's route in the Conference League. That's play Ajax in the last round. Now yeah. they're playing Lille. Yeah. We had a free pass to Wembley uh, to, to to the final. Wembley. Well, look, look, it got we got the group was a cakewalk in in the Conference yeah. League, right? And then the first, and then we played Larnaca Airport, which was a cakewalk, right? Then yeah. we played Ghent, who that was a semi. Stri- they were like yeah. uh, a, a top of the Championship side, right? And then we played um, AZ Alkmaar, who were probably a mid-table Premier League side at best, right? I wouldn't so even say that. Maybe even less, maybe even lower. Yeah. And then we got to Fiorentina, who were probably about the same level as us, but had nowhere near um, as expensive a squad. And right? played us off the park, if we're being, if we're yeah. being perfectly honest. Yeah. So that well, look, is... at it. look, look at uh, Amrabat, who's gone to Man United, their best fucking player for Florentina. Can't yeah, 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 shit. Can't yeah. get on, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. because for some reason, Ten Hag started playing a low block. <laughs> One of the most progressive young managers in Europe, Ten Hag, until he went to Man United. What the fuck I, has happened there? I just they already had a low block manager. Yeah. I just, think, I, just, I just think it's desperation. I think the guys just, they're broken, man, you, aren't they? Um, yeah. And we're not, you know, uh, this is why it's so important. We should be excited, everyone, but we're not because we're living this fucking nightmare at the minute. Yeah. But the summer is so exciting. And I, and, and I said this on my ramble the other day. And we should be excited. We've got we've got a lot of money to spend in the yeah. summer. It's even more so because look, we know that Paquette is going to go. All right, we know he's going to yeah. go. That's going to bring in a lot of money. Eighty million for Tim Starting is a lot of money. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to he's going he's going to have the best part of two hundred million to rebuild this squad. We're going to have a new look squad, and we're going to have a new fucking manager. And what we just watched that football is a product of the director of football that is at West Ham. We should be happy, really, to be quite honest, because yeah. that is our future. That's that's on our roadmap. That's what we've got to look forward to, not this dog shit that we're watching at the moment, because I don't know what that is. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, it's right. We were reporting it as well. Tar Boniface, um, Tar and Boniface, Stell was reporting every week that we are after him. Yeah, we were. We were. And, um, you know, and, and, and look at Boniface. If anyone could do the Antonio role, it's him. He's a fucking monster. He's yeah, good. Glad. He's really good. I mean, that. I'm, do you know that Boniface goal? That header was unbelievable. I know. He was jumping, he was jumping away from goal. He, he had the way he angled his neck he to get that on target and just inside the post. It's what, fucking what ridiculous. A fucking header that was. He's a unbelievable. Talent. He's a proper talent, but Moyes, he wants to choose his own, doesn't he? No, he, 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 Moyes will only go for him when he's worth about 80 million and he won't want to come. Well, look, hopefully... Like he did with Nunes, because he could have had Nunes when he was... when We could have had Nunes for 30 million. Look, here's my prediction. TalkSport are out in force tonight, backing David Moyes. All of the Moyes lovers are saying... Shit? I don't care. He's the German champions, even though before the game... You had, you had, you had, you had Tony Cotty on there. David Moyes. But, but apparently right? you had Tony Cotty on there before the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, Tony Cotty... He, he, yeah, he goes to the eyes, better, doesn't he? He, he, he does. Any, 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 anyone, anyone that gives him, yeah. a, gives him a pan note, that's, that's, he'll say the right thing. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, he loves a pan. It is, it is what it is. Yeah, but um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated now with, with, with that. I, I was, I was foolishly, I was oh, getting nervous, and I was, I, but I was getting the bedroom. But I was getting nervous and anxious all day. Uh, yeah, me too. And me too. It's such an anticlimax because it went exactly how you would expect it to, and I was just, I was hoping he was going to try and do something different. And for all those people that, and do you know what? We could have had Alvarez, we could have had Bowen, we could have had everyone. It would have made no fucking difference yeah. because it wasn't the players that let us down, it was a system. They would have still run rings around us. They would have. There is yeah. enough, would have been no change. Yeah. Yeah, totally agree. I totally agree. Listen, they were just far too good for us. Um, they looked too bad so well. That they had, a, such, they had a such, a, such a collection of, of players who were comfortable on the ball. And, um, and they, and they, 
clearly had a, a pattern to their play going forward. They had an idea of what they were doing, all of them, uh, as they as they got past the halfway line and headed towards our goal, which is something that we lack. We kind of make it up, we improvise when we get into the final third, right? They didn't. They were playing to a plan. That just stressed uh, me out. That yeah. Did stay. It did. Um, anyway, look, let's uh, let's wrap this one up. Closing well, thoughts. Closing Sto thoughts. Sorry, Stow Irons, leave it. Eh? Bonnie Face was playing against a defensive shed. Well, exactly. He's used him well. Good, good management. He's used him perfectly. And, that, and that, that's probably how we should use Antonio, but we ain't got no one else that we can play instead of Antonio. Would yeah. be the perfect way to use Antonio against a tired defence. Imagine that. Yeah. Last 15, 20 minutes of a fresh Antonio. This is what it was like for Leverkusen. It was like a fucking oh, training game. I reckon they've had they've had harder games in, in they've training. They've had harder sessions. training games, yeah. They've had harder yeah, training yeah. games, oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. I, yeah. I think they would have been disappointed that they didn't score at least five against us. I went on like a that. Zoom call with James and everybody else, and I, I I just basically said a couple of things, right? And and you took the words out of my mouth. When it was about uh, 75 minutes, I said, you know they always score late, right? Yeah. Um, and then when Bonnie Face came on, I said, you know, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. You look at his fucking record, right? Yeah. He really is. And, um, yeah, it, it, it's, just, it's just, it was all so predictable. Everything that happened today was so predictable. They don't give up. They don't panic. They don't start snatching at shots. They just carry on bashing on the door, bashing on the door, bashing on the door. And eventually they get in. I'm surprised we got a fucking door left after this year, mate. <laughs> no, no, I just, I just, I, I, just don't, I just don't see how anyone can be hopeful for the return they go after that. I mean, well, yeah. I mean, look, look. You've got to enjoy it because it's possibly the last bit of European football that we're going to have, uh, possibly. And unless we can get something in the league, we won't. We won't yeah. have any of this next year. So make the most of it because it's the last game. It's the last European game now. I think. Well, um, Sunday is critically important. It's only three days away. We've yeah. got Fulham at home. We've had a week off, and our players are going to be shattered and downbeat. And Dinos is injured by the looks of it, right? Yeah. Yeah, um, Alvarez you know, will be back. Alvarez will be back, but um, Bowen will be out, and um, yeah, it's going to be a it's going to be a tough ask. You know, all those players put their their bodies and every ounce of energy on the line tonight. The likes of, you know, look out, look out. Uh, Antonio was against Spurs. He was fucked. That that little run on goal that he had was very early in the second half. He was and fucked his, his, already. His legs, legs were gone by the time he got to the goal. He was on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but the thing is with Antonio, because of the role that he plays, right? It ain't just running. He's he's in a wrestling match for the yeah. whole game as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's he's fighting. He must need a fucking serious. And, he, like, and he's got to do it again on Thursday he, four days yeah, later. He must, he must have a radio bath when he gets home. Yeah, and he's got <laughs> got to do it again four days later. So so poor Antonio, he's fucked, right? Aching from head to toe. Three days later, he's got to play 90 minutes against Fulham. Then yeah. four days later, he's got to do it again against Leverkusen. Three days later, he's got to play Palace away. Oh. And then we've had two strikers who have just scored in their fucking games. Who we've well, let go. I wouldn't be surprised, though, Kingy, if uh, if Antonio pulls up injured at some point because he's being run into the ground again. Yeah, well, we've got he's no, 34 we've got no, for fuck's sake. Yeah. We've, we've, we've got yeah. no one else. He's... he's, he's He's given himself this problem, and for and for anyone, nobody can even dare complain about injuries or suspensions because what we've got Bowen and 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 Ariola missing. We've got two players missing. That's fuck all. Yeah. There's teams out there with half, oh, their, Phillips, half their squad. Phillips is injured. Oh yeah, all right. But the there's seven teams million out, but there's wonder kid. Teams out there with half their squad missing. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. we should be able to cope. Yeah, Newcastle. They had seven injuries going into that game, and then got a load more during the game. Right? I know. They were taking their clubs off. Yeah, 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 yeah they, were. Know, they were. They were. They were getting yeah, injured as they were bringing them on, weren't they? They were. They were. But anyway, yeah. everyone, look, um, we're gonna we're we're, we're gonna wrap it up because I'm I'm tired. I want to get to bed. I've I've had enough. That was I'm fucking numb. That's, Nick. That's, I'm numb. That's, 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 that. take, that's taken out of me to be quite yeah. honest. I've got to go drop, fucking work now. Drop yeah. a <laughs> drop. Don't forget to drop a like if you want Moyes out before you leave. <laughs> <laughs> pew pew pew. Um, I don't know where Mickey is tonight. No, where where is he? I don't know. He said he wasn't going to be home in time. Oh, oh fuck's right, sake, okay. Mickey. So we right. are. No worries. All right, we're going to go. Thanks, everyone. Um, yeah. Is what it is. Yeah. Not not entirely unexpected. Come no, on, no. your ones. Come on, your ones. Ooh.